Okay, so you just watched me make this uh, text here. As you can see, it just says the word tutorial because what I'm doing here is a nice little tutorial. Um, if you don't have Cinema 4D, or even if you do, there's some really good text you can make in Photoshop where it just involves Photoshop, the text tool, and then you can get a free font that you like, and then all you need to do is watch the tutorial. So uh, here we are. Make sure you um, make sure you uh, you're ready because it's quite some nice text. I mean, I'll, I'll keep it up. I'll keep it up and make it small and put it in the top corner. While I show you how to make this text, so uh, you can use this text on thumbnails, banners, even avatars, anything you want. So what we're going to be doing here is so we're going to be opening the text door, of course. I'm going to expect you to know the basics about text tool and stuff. So what you're going to do is type what you want. I'm going to go with I, I want to find a new word. I just use tutorial. Um, I'll just go with my last name. Which is Smith, I'll go with that. I'll just go with that. I couldn't think of anyone. Anything. But I saw text on the side of my screen. It says my name in a TeamSpeak server, so here we are. So here we go, we've got some text. Um as long as you've got your text in Photoshop how you want it, make sure you get a nice little font that you like. Obviously in the fonts, there's a lot of different fonts. I'm just gonna use the same font because it works really well for this text. And if you don't if you want the name of the font, the font is called uh, Agency FB Bold. You can download that from thefont.com. Maybe, maybe it's on there. I'm not sure. It might already be on your computer as a default font. So the first thing you do once you get your font, just choose a color. Usually, you, you can start with white and you can change it whenever you want. Um, I'm going to start with white and then uh, just a, a CC gradient or just default. Little, little bit of white all the way to white. A little bit gray, a little bit of white. So that's the gradient I'll use. And you're going to add an outline. Um, you don't have to use blue. Blue works really well with white. You can choose each color. Like black will work really well with orange. Purple will work really well with maybe a lighter purple or a pink. Um, so I'm just going to go with uh, blue again, I guess. I'll try. I might go with red. Let's see what colors we've got. Here. We've got green. We've got yellow. I might go with green. Green's all right. Yeah, I'll go with green. Because I don't want to use the same one as before. But blue's probably my favorite for this, doing this text. So if you want to um, do this, just make this blue or red or pink or orange or anything but I'm gonna go with green you don't want to use like a really bright color on the outline but you can go with this so here's green you're gonna make sure it's on the outside position and then just make it bigger not too big that'll do that'll do it's like pretty thin at the moment keep it thin so here's what you do next here's what you do next it's kind of um you can do this in different ways but what you want to do is split up each letter so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly Rasterize my layer because I don't need to change anymore. Unless you've spelt something wrong or anything, you can just rasterize it and, and work with that text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split up. Um, I'm going to split up the text here into each letter by just using this quick tool. So once you've split all the letters up, you're going to start moving. Um, each letter closer to the middle one. So you're going to start with a middle letter, which in this case is an I, and you just want to move everything in. So you get the M. Usually I put it close enough just for the uh, the outline to touch the outline of the next letter. So now I'm going to bring in the T. T comes in, and I'm going to bring in the H, and then last of all, I'm going to bring in the S. Alright, so now my, my text is nice and close. I'm going to just uh, shift and select all the layers and merge them. So here I've got my merge text. At the moment it looks like just some casual text that you might use in Photoshop with just an outline. But here's the cool part where you add the 3D looking effect which you can't really do without Cinema 4D unless you watch a good story or you just use uh, Photoshop's 3D which is terrible. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag the corners in to make it like drop so it's bigger at the bottom, thinner at the top like I did with this text. So there we go. Usually, you don't want to bring this in too far. Maybe that would be that'd be fine. So once you've done that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to square off the edges. So what I mean by square off the edges is if you look at if you look at this, there's like little pokey in bits here, little pokey in bits, and the edges are, are rounded. 
because that's what the stroke does. You can add the stroke. So, um, yeah, wait, no, you don't need to add the stroke. Don't add the stroke. All right, so what you want to do is you're going to, um, you're going to square off the edges. So what I like to do when I square off the edges, get out the, uh, the rectangular select tool here. And I just kind of drag this across the top. Actually, no, let me just take this back. So the text is normal again. So what you do is you get the rectangular select tool, drag this across the top until you've highlighted pretty much just the top of it. Take out parts like this, like the middle, like in this case the H, like with U's and stuff like that, and D's, no actually not D's, and M's here. You just want to take out the middle. If you don't know how to do this, I'm just using the lasso tool. And that's a great tool to use. Pretty much the best selecting tool in the world here. So you're going to get the right colour, which mine was green. I'm going to select it by some colour select. Oh, shit. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to fill in these edges. You can just paint bucket them in. But, you know, I'll just I'll just colour them in because I, I like colouring. Colouring's fun. I'm a fan of the colouring books. Here we go, boys and girls. I'm just going to pull this around. Bing, bada, bing, bada, boom, bish, bash, bosh. Right, there we go. We've squared off the edges. And basically, just, I like them squared into the circle. It looks a lot more sharp. Oh. Oh. Looks like I've uh, got some... Make sure you don't leave little gaps here. As you might have been able to speed, see where I speed arted the tutorial. I was rushing it kind of, and I left little gaps. But, you know, this is a tutorial. I want this looking good. I want this looking nice on the old channel. So, that's the top done. And now you, now you want to square off at the bottom and usually what you do want to do is you want to square off all these little parts here you don't have to but I like to do it because squaring looks nicer square off all these so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly speed this part by squaring all these off in speedy motion here we go okay so now once you've done all the squaring off the edges as you can see what I meant by just making it look a, more, a lot more blocky and makes the text look good. Once you've done that, you're going to duplicate your layer with control J and you're going to have two of these beautiful layers. And you're just going to you're just going to get the get one of the layers and color overlay on the blending options and just make it kind of the same green but a lot darker. Um, I just need to check what the other green looks like. Uh, this should be good. So once you've got that, what you're going to do is you're going to Put that layer behind your layer, rasterize the layer types, and press Control T to bring up the, you know, these borders. What they called? Um, yeah, I don't know. So I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. You're going to be holding Control, I mean, uh, Shift and Shift and Alt to drag this down. What we can do is going to drag it down a little bit, depending on how far you want. You can drag it all the way down here for a real backdrop of the 3D text. Or you could take it a little bit. I don't like taking it too much. Maybe about there. And that looks good. And then what I'm going to do. Got a plane going over. And then what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in a little bit. And just kind of fill in these weird block edges to make the 3D literally attach to it. So what you do is you just use the mask. This, um, what is this tool called? Let me just check. The tool's name is the Polygon Lasso Tool. And we do, once you use that. You're just going to highlight your edges like this. And what you do is you get the right colour by selecting it with that colour. By selecting it with a colour select. And you just colour over it. You can just fill it in as I know. But I like colouring as I said. And what it does is it kind of attaches it to the corner. See what I mean? And it really makes it look sexy 3D. Even though it looks here, you probably put something on top of there. You know what I mean? Just because it looks so 3D. It looks like you haven't made that. You've rendered that in Cinema 4D. It looks really good. And it's just like raw colours instead of all the Cinema 4D like different colours you can get and the brightness and all that jazz. This is nice and simple text and it looks good. So you've done that, you've got to do it on each corner, so what you want to do is find each corner. If you look at this image, we've got the M uh, here. What you can do to select them all quicker, you just quickly do it. Go up to the next one, you don't have to colour that in yet. Just go up to the next one, hold shift and then uh, select this corner as well. And then go down, find the number part on this letter. Right there, hold shift, and then click each edge. The reason I'm holding shift is it adds it instead of replacing the 
the uh, highlight and then boom you colour in each one scroll up to the top on the other one colour that one in and boom that's the M done and you're going to do that with each letter until it looks like this until it looks like this so once you've done that what you can do is it looks, it looks pretty good it looks pretty good there's a lot of different ways you can take the text so if I show you a quick example just by hiding this layer um, duplicate this one again and do the thing that I did before by color overlay make it a darker green and drop it behind that layer you can really take it any way you want like I could take it left out here when you take it left out here you just have to do the same thing in each corner so you can have the 3D effect coming out the left coming up the top, coming out the side whereas before you can make it smaller like I did before and you can drop it down below it and it can come out the bottom like this which I did do with this tutorial, I made it come out the bottom of it and there's a lot of different ways you can, you can do it so yeah that's pretty much it, that's some cool 3D text that you can make and it doesn't even take that long, it takes about 10 minutes just to make this text and that may seem a bit long to some people but for me that's a good that's a good bit of text for the how long it takes um, there's a lot of different ways you can do it like I'm gonna start using this on some banners not all the time because I don't want to start overusing something because usually when I make a cool banner I keep making the same one until it's no longer a cool banner so yeah that's some cool text you can make got my uh, word tutorial and my word smith together here put them on top of each other yeah they look great so yeah that's pretty much the tutorial done um, thanks everyone for watching. If this helped you at all, just leave a like. If if you're going to use this text, give it a comment. Show me your work, and um, yeah, pretty cool. See you guys later. Goodbye. <laughs>